In addition to the gender pay gap, there is a gap which has not yet been identified as such, which is really important. And I'm talking about the retirement savings gap. Uh, this all has to do with the financial well-being of women. And well-being is being defined, which consists of, a, of four interrelated items, social well-being, emotional well-being, physical well-being, and last but not least, financial well-being. Um, women, on average, live longer than men. The expectancy age of a baby being born today, when you're female, it's 90, when you're a male, it's, uh, when you're a male, it's 88, when you're a female, it's 90. So women live longer. In the US, there are even five years difference between men and women. That's number one. Women also, uh, especially in the Netherlands, have worked comparably less than men. They've worked part-time, they've been parental leave takers, they've been carers leave takers, and as such also on the retirement end, they have not built up as much funding as men have. Uh, this gap is really starting to become imminently visible and it's really important to address this. My advice is to both independent contractors and employees are the following. And make sure you're aware of your finances today. Make sure you're aware of your finances for a rainy day. And make sure you're aware of your finances for that one big day which you would like to do. Whether that's an early retirement or a trip to Australia, etc. What can companies do? Uh, companies really can take a look at what are the differences between the females and the male situation with regard to retirements. And what kind of solutions and products can they offer in order to make up for those gaps which do exist? So if you're a millennial starting to work today, uh, this is the era of data. So make sure that you're able to make fact-based decisions around the offers you get. Uh, and when you work in, this, in an organization and you feel that uh, there might be a gap, uh, go and make sure that you get the data or that HR gets the data for you and make sure that you have a benchmark being performed around your personal situation. For employers, these days it's specifically important to make sure they have the facts uh, so that they can make informed decisions around what pay they offer to what new colleague is joining. Um, if you're already in a company and feel like you um, uh, have questions around the pay you're getting and you feel like there's a disparity in your pay, you should reach out to HR, uh, reach out to your superior and ask them for a benchmark. So my advice to any wo a woman, uh, especially young women is, um, to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will do it. So be aware of your pros and cons, be aware of your capabilities and skill sets. Be aware that there are many good things about you, but also some bad things about you. Just embrace them and, and let them be as they are uh, and go forward uh, with, great, uh, with great drive uh, and be resilient uh, and have fun on the journey.